Hello, this is Dr. David Maza, and today I will be talking to you about setting the um, condylar inclination angle and also Bennett angle on the SAM3 articulator. So if you have a cast that is already mounted on the SAM3 articulator, and um, it's mounted in the maximum intercuspation, um, to set the um, um, articulator properly, we need five different settings, five different bite registrations. One is going to be the maximum intercuspation, the other one is going to be a dilar wax and a centric relation. Then we have three others. One is going to be a bite registration. I usually use alu wax in protrusive. And um, two in the lateral trusive right and lateral trusive left sides. Um, this maxillary cast is mounted based on a um, earbow or facebook transfer, axial quick facebook transfer. And um, to de determine the inclinations, and the Bennett angle, I have a maximum intercuspation bite registration here that is going to be placed. And um, it's going to be matching the uh, maxillary arch and mandibular arch. We are going to be uh, locking the centric locks at the right side and at the left side. And um, so now to, um, to establish the um, um, horizontal uh, inclination of the condyle or horizontal condylar inclination, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and unlock the two centric locking at the right side and the left side rings. Now the articulated could be moving to the freely to the front and the back. I'm going to be removing also the um, incisal pin assembly. I'm going to be using my protrusive bite registration, which is an edge to edge bite registration. And I'm going to be placing the, uh, my maxillary cast and the mandibular cast. Now what we're going to be playing with, I'm going to be unlocking or loosening the both condylar housing thumb screws right at the back of the articulator. So as a con consequence, I can move my condylar guidance to the up and down. And I move it until I have a perfect adaptation of the maxillary arch and mandibular cast with my bite registrations. When it's done, I would stop and I would be fastening the condylar housing thumb screw at that side. The same thing at this side. I would be going up and down, up and down until I have the best adaptation of my maxillary cast, wax, and my mandibular cast. Then I'm going to be going ahead and uh, fastening and tightening my um, condylar housing thumb screws. So in that matter, what I have is that um, I have a scale here that is the uh, condylar inclination guidance scale at the right side and also at the left side that they are determined. Now I'm going to be removing my protrusive bite registration. To be able to establish my Bennett angle, there are two scales for the Bennett angles. What I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be um, loosening up the Bennett thumb screws at the right side and the left side and I'm going to put them on on the scale of zero the other one the same I'm going to put it on the zero I'm going to put in the right lateral retrusive bite registration and because the both condylar centric locking are um, unlocked so I can move the articulator very easily The right lateral trusive is going to be placed. I want to make sure that maxillary cast wax, mandibular cast are pretty stable and complete contact. Now what I'm going to be doing, this is the right lateral trusive. I'm going to be moving the left scale very gently until it touches and stops. And at this time, I'm going to be fastening the uh, Bennett thumb screw at that side. And we remember that when the patient moves to the right ladder trusive, the condyle at the left side is going to be moving forward and downward and also towards the um, patient's right side. This is called the non-working side. I'm going to be doing the same thing with the um, left ladder trusive. I want to make sure that maxillary and mandibular cast, they have all perfect adaptation with the wax. 
and again because it's patient's left ladder trusive now I'm going to be adjusting the patient's right bennett angle so I'm going to be moving it until it touches that plate and stops then I'm going to go ahead and locking my bennett thumb screw at that time I could take this one off and um, I'm going to be um, locking both condylar centric locking rings I would push them towards inside until it clicks and the articulate is going to be in a proper lesson. Now I have established my Bennett angle properly and my horizontal condylar inclination based on the bite registrations that we have done. Thank you.